Yep. Hi, everyone. Good morning to you. It is 8 o'clock on the start of your Wednesday morning here in the studio. I'm my lonesome. Katie Morris out live for us on uh, Emsley and Clinton Street, where there was some sort of a huge explosion, according to eyewitnesses, about 6.30 this morning. Uh, they were calling the newsroom, Katie, telling us basically that uh, a garbage truck sent debris flying into homes, causing these explosions of sorts. Uh, right. But we're told by police this happened about 6.30 on Clinton and Lord where the driver of a garbage truck hit an overpass. Yeah. Tell us in from, here, from, from there. Okay, so when we first got here, hey, I, hey, by the way, Hi. sorry, I was, you know, given direction, of course, as we start second cup, I'm like, how about this, how about this? Um, but anyways, <laughs> as we first got here, um, we could get down towards where that garbage truck was. We got a little bit of video for you, and um, it looks like it hit that overpass, like police say, and then probably like half a block away, it stopped. And then these witnesses told me that canisters shot off of this gas, they were calling it like a gas garbage truck, and there is a house down there that has a huge hole literally in the second floor of it, like something like crashed through it and exploded. So you can actually see a huge hole on the second floor of this house. I know I shot some video here. This is so when we first got to the scene here. Now, police have since moved us really far back because what we didn't realize when we first got there was that there could still possibly be other canisters or something that could explode in the area. So they were just saying, listen, out of safety, we want to move you guys back for sure. So um, we got there and we're pretty close at first, but then, you know, for safety's sake, you know, want to do exactly what they said and we moved back here. So I think in at Clinton and Adams right now, which is a couple blocks away from this scene. So uh, Chastity here with us this morning. Good morning to everyone here in the comments. Glad you're with us. Chastity, we see your comment here. She says she felt it and it scared the heck out of us, she said. Um, you know, hey, Ed, take of, this for one second, okay? Uh, a lot of these garbage trucks are uh, powered by CNG, which is compressed natural gas. So they would be carrying around cylinders of compressed natural gas, uh, which realistically uh seems to be the canisters that they are talking about um caitlin good morning to you uh so just to reiterate this happened uh, uh about 6 30 this morning on clinton right near emsley uh it seems according to police that the driver of a modern disposal garbage truck hit the overpass at clinton and lord and in doing so it seems like there were gas canisters that uh kind of exploded or right. sent where believed one of these tanks katie went so okay ed yeah and i want to tell you i'm here with treasure right now and she actually saw what happened or heard what happened thanks for joining me okay tell me what happened where were you in all this i was actually in my bed when it, all it happened um and i heard this big boom and i thought so actually i didn't know if it was an earthquake i didn't know if somebody was trying to break in because it was so loud and it vibrated the house like and it woke my son up so i went to go check the windows and i didn't see anything i didn't see anything in my house so i have a lower part of my house that i wanted to check and i was a little scared but as soon as i thinking about checking downstairs i heard the fire people and then i go check my bathroom window and i look out the window and i see all the firefighters and see all the cops so i have this little app on my phone and i turn on it if something's going on to see you know yeah. make sure you know everything's okay and then i hear that it was a um garbage truck at first and that the garbage truck had um a propane tank that exploded and that they were looking for the guy they only have one employee and they were trying to make sure that everybody was accounted for and safe so um so did anything happen you were in your home down there did anything happen to your home or what did you see as far as damage goes um my home shook that's what happened <laughs> like that, it really vibrated i didn't know if it was an earthquake i was kind of scared it woke me up out of my sleep no kidding like seriously so i didn't know what was going on yeah and so Can how yeah. How far away is Treasure from where this house actually is? I'm just about is? to ask you this. Right. So where is your house in relation? I saw the house that had that huge hole in the side of it. Right. How far away are you from I'm that? not really far. I can look out my window and see the houses on Clinton. I can see the Vidoc on Clinton. So I'm not really far. I would say 500 feet or less. So what street are you on? Then? I'm actually on Monroe Street. I'm in Rosa. She yeah. was a street over Ed, and she actually felt that huge explosion. And wow. Did you see the house with the damage on there? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. I, I didn't. I, that's why I walked down here to see, yeah. you know, because all the cops i was hoping everything was under control yeah. so did they I'm move you down it. as well for safety actually no because i stayed clear you did okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so mm -hmm. no um i'm just now getting here so Great. i guess everything's fine. oh my gosh well what an experience Thank thanks you. for sharing with You're us welcome. Yeah. yeah oh my goodness so yeah a pretty wild 
wild scene here. I'm going to go back over so you can actually see. Yeah, I was asking that question happened. too, Katie, because uh, Chastity was telling us that she's on William and Jefferson. She was up and her house shook also. So this wasn't Jeez. just like an isolated, you know, kind of contained to one little area. People were feeling this for several blocks at, at least. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they were saying this also happened, uh, that they were pushing people back to Jefferson, which is quite a distance away from where this happened at Clinton and Elmsley. Uh, we do know, Emsley rather, I do know uh, from police that two people are being checked out for um, what I believe were said to be minor injuries. Uh, so at this point, who those people are, still unclear. Yeah. Uh, but they're also saying that two houses may have been damaged in connection with this uh, so, and you know what, when you go down there, there was a big, almost like um, street lamp that was on the ground. Uh -huh. And um, I had asked people down there, I said, is this part of it? They said, yeah, this wasn't there before. So it looks like there's a lot of damage down there. It's just, I, you know, didn't know what came from what. So they're trying right. to figure out still what actually caused all this because the truck, it doesn't really look like it crashed. It almost looks like it stopped in the middle of the street um after of course going under the viaduct and um then the houses were kind of on the other side of the street so if the trucks on the left hand side of the street the houses that i saw damage were on the right hand side so police are also saying the driver of the truck and at least one passenger are being checked out at the scene so now we know who they are uh that are being checked out by emergency personnel uh when i called uh amr which is the ambulance company here in the city of buffalo uh they told me that they were on scene but hadn't taken anyone to the hospital just yet so still uh it's unclear if anyone was taken to the hospital. Katie, can we take um, one of the pictures that Katie Morse tweeted out? Katie Lane here, our exec, our, our producer, uh, and Katie Morse in the field for us. Uh, because I thought it was interesting, Katie, when you tweeted this picture or the video, um, it looked like the windows of the garbage truck were blown out. Yeah, well, so what, someone down there had said that this was a gas recycling truck or a gas garbage truck. So that's why it sounded like it had these canisters. It sounded like it kind of had a specific purpose. Truthfully, I'm not super familiar with, you know, this kind of process, but it did sound like, yes, this kind of truck carries these canisters, which is why they wanted to make sure that everybody else was even further away from the scene. I mean, we are, again, I'm going to say like two to three blocks away from where all of this happened. Now we were pushed back a couple of times just for safety's sake. And um, they, they were concerned that there could be something else. Because if it is, you know, by chance carrying these different materials, we want to make sure that nothing happens again. Um, yeah, and but yeah, the truck definitely was damaged too. And you can see the top, can you see the top of it there in the video? It's hard to see. Katie, can you make this full screen, Katie Lane, our producer? I, I just want to, so, okay, look, this is what I was talking about here. So it looks like, it looks as if like one of the doors was, I, I don't even, I want to speculate here, but it looks like it was blown off of its hinges. Yeah. It's hard to tell, too. And you know what? It was a really busy scene. I'm not going to say chaotic because they had it all, you know, taped off. They were kind of ready. But it was um, it was busy. So we were trying. I was trying to get as much video as I can while we were down there. And um, there's the truck. And then, Katie, can you go to the picture or to the end of the video? It actually shows the house. And that's like, I think that's yeah, that kind of that's See right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so that, you know, that kind of goes in line with what Chrissy is saying here. Chrissy is saying that it was huge tanks. So she's you, I mean, when you look at that hole in the side of the house, yeah. I mean, that's not a small hole. That looks like it's the size of, you know, one of those, you know, if you've seen like a, a helium tank, at a, you know, for a child's birthday party or something like yeah. that, that fills up the balloons. That's kind of what it looks like. Right. And so kind of like what I was saying to you guys, too. So you saw the truck is like kind of across the street and down from even where that house is. So I was trying to put it into perspective just how far this explosion, you know, may have sent stuff flying. So, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, pretty well. Aaron saying, I thought something hit the house. I went outside to check. Um, Chastity said she thought it was an earthquake. Uh, I'm just going through the, the comments here. Uh, um, Caitlin saying she's hopeful the driver is okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and so this, this has been going on now for about an hour and a half, and still it looks like Clinton is closed off and will be closed for some time to come. Uh, yeah, and, and they closed a pretty big chunk of it. You know, like yeah. we were saying for your morning queue, I'm like, oh, is it a block or two? No, it's a pretty big chunk of it all the way – um, from, well, you know what? And they've got another car up there. How far did they say they were closing it at? Because we're down at Adams, but they've got a police car up there diverting traffic even further away from where we are. Yeah, which is so interesting because when we took you right before 725, uh, they were saying that they were moving everyone back to Jefferson, which is a distance. Yeah, uh, so you know what? They We may be just up a block or two from there because they've got another police car up further and they let the media come in just a little bit closer. So, um, 
yeah, I mean, we're, we're still pretty far from the scene. And we've got, you know, I can see there's National Grid is on the scene right now. Of course, Buffalo Fire, Buffalo Police, AMR is on the scene. Officially, police are saying that Clinton is closed in both directions. Uh, officially, police are saying Clinton is closed in both directions between Emsley and Smith. Um, police are asking you to avoid the area. I checked in with the NFTA a little while ago just to see what this would mean for their operations because we know there are bus routes up and down Clinton. Yes. They're basically just saying that this is just going to cause them to reroute uh, yeah. their buses because of the street closure, but it really won't have a major impact on their operations. Yeah, actually, it's funny. That's what one of the police officers said because when we were pulling up, he was just like, oh, this is a bus route, so make sure you go. You know what I mean? He was like, this is right along that bus route. So yeah. I'm sure they're going to be able you know, we were able to easily get around. We were going around the block a couple times to find the best place to be. So we were able to easily get around, but still it's a pretty big section that's closed. Now, Katie, police were also saying that there are two houses possibly that are damaged here. You know, it was tough. I only saw the one because the damage was so uh, just standing out to me, right? So I shot right. that really quickly. And again, we were only there for like minutes before police were like, you know what? Actually, we want you guys to be safe. We want to move you back a little bit further. So um, I totally understand that again. But like I said, there was debris all over the place. Um, Describe the did, debris. What did it look like? You know, like there were pieces kind of of metal. Does that sound about right? Like some pieces of metal, Um, you know, nothing too insane. But like I said, there was one that it really looked like. And there's, can you see this pole behind me? It looked like one of these poles behind me that had kind of gone down to the ground. So I, I don't want to speculate, like you said, you know, and I'm not down there to see it again. But it yeah. almost looked like maybe it had fallen over. Or maybe it got hit or something. The biggest thing I noticed, aside from the truck itself, was actually the hole in the house. And I, uh, I didn't really see the other house damaged sherry joining us this morning good morning sherry she says that's an upstairs bedroom on that type of house sure. uh and and that's then, what it looks like right uh chrissy hope we answered your question any other homes or businesses damaged police were saying possibly two houses but katie showed us the one uh in in the video that we were just playing donna good morning to you is anyone hurt yeah we're learning that two people are being checked out not seriously hurt is what it seems like uh, from police one was the driver of that garbage truck the other a passenger uh yeah. So this, and, and, Ed, Ed, here's the video from when we very first got down there sure. so you can see there were a ton of firefighters and there were a lot of witnesses out there too um and then they had a huge section um using the crime scene tape like on both sides of the street because on the first side was the truck on the other side were the houses so it was a really a pretty massive scene as far as you see the dump truck right there on the right hand side and then on um, the house that got damaged was behind you if you were like in that perspective so it was yeah it was it was busy for sure see so, can you see there's kind of like it almost looks like debris i don't know the firefighters yeah. are walking on so yeah it was hard to see but it was dark but so so what are the firefighters telling you at this point i mean is there a I, cause for concern in the public I haven't gotten a chance to talk to anybody because by the time we, you know, got down there, we ended up having to move. Um, but they did just say it wasn't it was police who said they wanted to move us out of safety. And now Okay, it looks like we're losing Katie here. Um, Barbara wondering, is this primarily a residential neighborhood? Yeah, it looks as if it is. Uh, there are many houses in that area uh, in the Emsley neighborhood. But if you look on a map, this is kind of right near uh, Larkinville as well. Uh, so it's kind of in that like bordering community. Uh, so if you're familiar with like the Larkin Soap Company where that building is, uh, it seems as if it's right kind of on that line. Uh, Chastity says she heard metal crash. I thought something hit the side of my dumpster or the scaffolding on the side of the house. Gerardo kind of putting the bow tie here. Hope both employees are okay. Peter says it sounds like it could have been worse. Uh, but yeah, we're glad that everyone seems to be okay. Um, I guess the next question is how this actually happened, how the driver, you know, again, according to police, kind of missed how low the overpass was and how high the truck uh, how high the truck was. So we'll keep you posted on this one throughout the morning on WKBW.com. And, uh, of I course, bring any updates. you guys, uh, watching, it was, uh, you know, incredible coverage. Fascinating, right? But yeah. Thankfully, it, it, like, uh, Peter said, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. I know I was, uh, hearing too on the scanners that 911 was getting a ton of calls, a huge explosion. So, um, you know, I'll have to keep digging and you guys will let us yeah. know what happens. So. so Clinton Emsley right now uh, closed. So if you're traveling this morning, just be aware of that and kind of you're going to need to find an alternate route.